Guys, MidJourney just released a brand new feature today, June 30th, 2023, called Weird. Let's get weird with MidJourney. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you a few examples of the newest MidJourney features. So like I said, it is called Weird. And it basically, in a nutshell, it's similar to the chaos parameter. If you think of generating an image in just, you know, like this circle of, let's say, you know, you generate an image of a car or something like that, it's going to generate something within the confines of this sandbox, right? But then what happens is you put the weird parameter on it, and now all of a sudden, this circle becomes much bigger. Let me give you an example. So let's go ahead, and we're just going to type in black and blue Porsche. Let's make sure it's photography. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add in our weird. Well, actually, first, before we do that, let's go ahead and see what it looks like by default, okay? And then let's go ahead and add in our weird parameter just so we could see. And the weird parameter is done by hyphen hyphen weird, and then you can enter in a number between 3,000 and zero. So let's go ahead and try 250. Let's do a pretty moderate number. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do another one. We'll do uh, black and blue Porsche photography. And then let's do weird. Let's shoot up to a thousand just to kind of see what we get. So while well, that's kind of going, you're kind of seeing an example here. So remember how I was saying the whole circle sandbox thing. These four images look very similar in composition, in lighting, in style, in color, um, right? It, it's There's still a difference, of course, just environment and like what it looks like, but it's you kind of know what you're going to get. Weird, again, now you're expanding the sandbox, I like to call it, because now look, now you're kind of getting things that aren't exactly so stylistically anticipated. So uh, that's the 1,000 ones generating. So for the 250, you could see that it actually generated a Porsche that isn't quite black and blue, but it's actually just blue. And it puts you in some environments and maybe some camera angles and camera quality that always isn't the norm, right? So here, this is obviously taken with a high quality DSLR camera. It uh, looks like there's some here, but it doesn't look like it's full on camera quality, but I might just be wrong on that. Never mind. So I feel like this one is pretty interesting. And of course, we expand that parameter to a thousand. And now look at that. Now it's it's much different. You get different compositions. You get different camera angles. Look, there's even some coloration going on here that's weird. This one it all is almost kind of a bit blurry. It looks a little bit more of like an older style um, amateur handheld camera kind of thing going on, right? Not with a professional sharp Nikon or, you know, Canon camera. So it's very interesting. Um, I know this is just one example. I've been playing around with it this whole afternoon. One thing that I find the weird parameter does really good on is if you're trying to get like realistic pictures, um, that might look a little bit more, I want to say professional, but maybe a little bit more, um, raw or amateur for art is when it kinds to sort of, uh, expand the barrier. So we'll, we'll do two things the first one let's let's do art let's go ahead and do uh, a cat holding a banana at the beach right and let's do photography because i just want to see and we're just going to go ahead and have that and do it without the weird and uh okay we're going to do the weird thing again let's start it at 250 just so we can kind of see the progression of how weird does weird and then we're gonna do a thousand again. Remember, you can actually go all the way up to three thousand, but I feel like at that point it just gets so extreme. <laughs> You've almost like lost the original intention behind the image. So, um, yeah. So here we go. A cat holding a banana at the beach, right? I know these exactly aren't bananas. That's a lemon. I don't know what that is, but uh, right. The gist is there. You guys get it, right? So that's mid journey. Uh, then you start to do, you know, 250. Now it's just like, what, what, what's going on here? The compositions change, the style changes. I don't know what kind of fruit this is. Uh, it just kind of becomes its own thing. It's very, very odd. And then, you know, you get to a thousand and then it just starts doing stuff where it's like, it, it it's almost so far removed from this template that Mid Journey uses for your, uh, for your four image generations. It just starts to do different things, right? It's very similar to the chaos feature or the chaos parameter. So let's look at photography or like, let's look at portraits. So let's type in uh, old Italian man photography. Just go ahead and have it do that. And then I'm going to skip the 250. We're just going to have it do weird let's do uh 1500 
Let's break the barrier a little bit just to see what happens. So this should be pretty standard, right? It's the same composition, probably very similar identical lighting. Um, it's a lot more, dare I say, plug and play because you kind of know what all four images are going to be. They're not going to be all that different. But again, that's why the weird parameter comes into play where it does allow you to get, oh, whoa, see, way different look. Like we got kind of like more of a modern day selfie here. Uh, very old school, kind of uh, interesting uh, black and white image. This, I don't know what this is. Same here. So this is kind of just more like urban photography. It's really cool how they're so drastically different. I like that. Um, yeah, as you can see here, this is, you know, it's a lot of the same. So if I can summarize it without showing you a billion examples, because I'd rather you guys go and play with this yourselves. Without the weird feature, or excuse me, the weird parameter, Midjourney basically has a sandbox that they do their images in, right? That they, it's it's a stylistic lighting compositional sandbox that when you generate, it's going to give you four images that, that are that are all in this sandbox. They're going to be different, of course, but they're they're similar enough to where you can kind of just say, oh, okay, I like you get like this is the gist of what you asked for. You add in the weird parameter. And it seems like that sandbox just gets really big. And now you have an image or all four images are from a different part of the sandbox, right? It's like none of these, these are so, like it may be of the same type of person or same type of thing you asked for, but it's presented, the ideas are so different, right? In composition and lighting and coloration, um, even the whole, you know, from like a Nikon professional camera look to more maybe like a, a handheld or like a lower resolution image, right? It's all here. It's very, very interesting. Obviously, this just came out today. It's going to take some time for a lot of us to really play around with it and see how it works. But before I end today's video, I want to go ahead and try it on some illustration work just to see what it can do. So, because I actually haven't messed around with it too much in illustration. So, let's do something like a dog jumping over the Empire State Building uh, illustration. And these are just completely random examples, by the way. Okay. And now, a dog jumping over the Empire. We're just going to go right to it. We're just going to go to weird a thousand just so you guys can see. Okay, again, right? We got the mid journey gist, right? Everything looks really similar. Now go ahead and punch in a thousand and let's just see what happens. Now, in my opinion, if I was looking for this exact thing, these don't look bad at all. I mean, it's not exactly jumping over the Empire State Building, but uh, this one's probably closest to that, I guess you could say. Uh, but it, wow. So as you see, not only did it change the composition, but it even changed the illustration kind, right? This looks more like a, a children's drawing or a children's book. This one just looks like cr crude computer graphics or something or like 2D vectors. Same thing here. kind of looks more like a kid's show. And I don't really know what's going on in this one. Very, very strange. But really interesting because now you can use this feature to do a lot of cool stuff. So again... It just allows you to play around more, to do different things, and yeah. So I just wanted to make this video quick, short, and sweet for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for more things on AI news and mid-journey. As always, I love you all. See you guys in the next video.